One of the more amazing things is once we started doing robotic surgery is that early we started to notice that patients are in the phase where they have swelling and they are, and we're monitoring the wound, that they're up and moving much faster. They're off of their walker faster, they're off of their cane much faster. Obviously everyone is different, everyone progresses at different rates, but across the board I think we've seen that by having that stability, by having that personalized alignment and position that is focused for that particular patient as opposed to just every person out there, we're seeing the results and they really happen early and then more importantly at the year and later patients come in and say they're really back to everything. There's not a thing that they can't do after their joint replacement surgery. Ever since I got into practice though, I've been very interested in where technology is able to take us as orthopedic surgeons and how it has allowed us to kind of perform better surgery, more consistent surgery across the board. What that ultimately has led us to is over the last, let's call it five to seven years, a real emphasis in robotic surgery. Every patient has a different anatomy. Every patient has different ligaments, tendons, soft tissues that drive their joint. Now we have a better understanding of how those ligaments and how those tendons really uh, align with the patient's own anatomy. And so now we're able to use that information in a way that we've never been able to use it before. In the past, we were simply looking at bone, we were looking at certain positions, but now we're able to take that individualized person, understand their anatomy, and then optimize the position of the implant based on their anatomy. Once we have that optimized kind of ideal position, now we use that robotic application to really execute on that plan. And that's really what gets us to robotics, is that we need that level of accuracy with the amount of precision that we're doing now. And as a result, what we're seeing from patients is that early they're noticing that their knee is more stable, that they do have less swelling. Yes, there's appropriately a recovery and there's physical therapy associated, but every marker along the way is happening faster with these type of surgeries. Same applies to other joints, including hip as well as shoulder. I'm Chris Canova. I'm a joint replacement surgeon at Ortho Bethesda, concentrating in mainly hip and knee replacement surgery.